This lecture is covered the system development life cycle. And our main objective is to explain the basic system development life cycle and its phases. The system development life cycle consists of four different phases. And the first phase is the planning, analysis, design, and implementation. So again, when we have a new project, the first phase we go through the planning and the output of the planning phase will give us the planned project. Then we move on next to the analysis phase. In the analysis phase, this is where again the system analysis and also the stakeholders of the project may come up with the system requirements. The system requirement will be both the functional and non-functional requirement. A functional requirement is what functions or the task the system is going to perform. Non-functional requirement will be the characteristics or the quality of the system. For example, and the security of the system, user friendliness, the performance of the system, etc. So in the analysis phase, it's very important because if we don't come up with the correct requirements, again, we are going to have a a wrong product. <laughs> so now after the system requirement, we'll move to the design phase. This is the phase that we are going to design the system. So our product will be, product will be the system specifications. Then after we have the system specifications, we can implement the system, develop the system using any computer programming language to implement the system. Then after that, we may do the testing. Then we may put the system on operation. So we shall go through each of these four phases in details. So again, the planning phase, this is where we have the project initiation. In the planning phase, again, we are going to prepare the system request and also perform pre preliminary feasibility analysis. Again, we are going to discuss the three types of feasibility analysis, uh, such as the technology, economical, and also organizational. Then next, we are going to set up the project. So the project plan should include the work plan and also the staffing plan. Next on the analysis phase, here we are going to determine the analysis strategy. So if there's any existing system, uh, for example, a manual system that performs the same operation, then we are going to study the existing system and its problems. Then we collect and also analyze the requirements, both the functional and non-functional requirements. So here we can be able to develop a new system concept and also describe the new system with analysis models. Next, we are going to prepare and also present the system proposal here we are going to summarize the result of the analysis phase, whether it's a go or no go decision made by the project stakeholders. Uh, for example, the sponsors or the steering committee. Next, we move to the design phase. In the design phase, this is where we are going to determine the design strategy, whether we should build a system or we should buy it or we should outsource it. Then we come up with the design system components, such as the architecture, the interface, database programs, also assemble design, the element into system specifications. Then we need to present our system specifications uh, to the, again, the steering committee or the stakeholders of the project. Here we are going to get either go or no go decision before entry the final phase, which will be the, again, the implementation phase. Now implementation phase, this is when we are going to use the computer programming language to construct or develop the system and also do the testing. Again, we shall go details about this phase. Um, for example, we have different types of testing. Also, here we do the system installation after the construction of the system. Possible, we are going to train the users of the system and also conversion to a new system. 
then there should be ongoing system support, for example, maintenance uh, issues or come up with a new version of the system to improve it. So those are the four phases of, again, software development lifecycle in general. Now, in software engineering course, we may have different types of techniques of developing a system, such as using the waterfall model or a string programming. Uh, there are so many different types. So again, see you in the next lectures, and thank you.